Hi guys, I am Liviu and welcome back to my channel. Today I am gonna try and repair a TBS Tango 2 version 3 PCB which met some LiPo voltages. So let's see if I can repair it. So I haven't done repairs for some time now because um, my time was uh, limited. Luckily I had uh, a little bit of time to have a look on this Tango 2 PCB version 3. This motherboard received LiPo voltage on the battery or on the USB I, I can't remember now. But um, I know what the culprit is and I will show it to you right now. This is our problem. This IC is the battery management and charging IC. We have the battery input and also a voltage output. This IC receives voltage from USB also for charging the battery. And as you can see, it's not in a good state right now. We have a pretty large explosion happening here. Most definitely I will have to repair some traces. If we look closely here, we have a missing trace and some craziness happening here. I don't want to stress too much about the broken traces. As you have seen, I have a button right to the left of the IC and I'm trying to push the hot air towards the top so that I won't melt the, the button. As you can see the solar melted but I can't quite take it out. Oh, we took it. Let's rearrange this cap here. And I have one more cap to get rid of this one here. Which seen better days. Good, now we have a better understanding of what happened. The, this IC exploded right here. We have one trace here which is killed. Hopefully we don't have any internal traces close to this area. So that means we can actually try and repair this zone. We only have this via which doesn't appear to be killed. I want to scrape off here a bit. I want to place some leaded solder here. And with the help of the solder wick, I will clean all the pads. Oops, I pressed a little bit too much on those pads. Let's see now if we can do it a little bit better. So we have one pad missing there, but apparently that pad is not used. So that's a good thing. So this pad here is not used. As you can see, it's not connected to anything, but these pads are used and we need to press them in their place, which is here. And we have another one here. Let's clean a bit more. Good, now I will take my 
multimeter leads, set the multimeter on uh, continuity test, and this is the input. And let's see if we have a connection to the ground. We don't. Let's see if we have ground to output. We don't. So that's a good thing. Now let's try and build some traces. I will take some flux. Place there some flux. Taking small wire and try to solder it to that resistor there Good. And because this will have a decent amount of current, I cannot use only one strand of wire. So I will try and use more strands in parallel. quite difficult to work with such thin wires but hopefully we can manage to do so So I guess I did an okay job <laughs> of soldering this one. To finish it up we also need one cap. Hopefully this one will do the job. I don't want to clean too much now because well I will mess up my uh, things here. I will use solder paste because, well, I find it quite difficult in this particular uh, scenario and my paste doesn't stick all that well, let me clean it a bit so, we need to place some paste here we need some paste here Hopefully this is not too much and will do the job. I will place the cap here. And let's take our charger which is this uh, ISL6292. Okay. We have our charger place it roughly on the spot and now let's hope it will not move that much Placing some flux here.
pressing down the IC and generally cleaning out things from here Now let's see if we can touch up this side to be sure that those traces that we created are connected right. Okay, this one is definitely connected. and this one appears to be connected also. We take some q-tips and try to clean the area as best as we can now some uh, alcohol with the help of a toothbrush we scrape off and because now all the traces we've created are soldered down there is no risk of disconnecting them. Always inspect and look for little problems that may arise. Okay guys, so after testing out the IC I replaced, this one is working and our ingenious repair here works, but unfortunately the MCU, the big MCU here, the STM32 device is unfortunately killed probably because it has a line going to this um, regulator and receiving also LiPo voltage everything else on the PCB seems to be working alright but uh, I don't have this MCU and I don't know if I should buy one because if TBS is not providing me with a special bootloader for this MC well it will be a pain to replace it and not being able to flash it even though this repair wasn't fully successful our main goal was to repair this section here with the exploded battery charger and we managed to do that in an oddly fashion I would add but uh, hey it works whenever you find yourself in a situation like this you can just rebuild traces and off you go but uh, this job would have been much much complicated if I wouldn't had a stereo microscope you can find all the necessary links on tools I use in the description and also if you enjoyed this video like, subscribe and um, comment if you have any questions. Thank you very much again guys and till the next time, bye!